Well, today is a leap day, that curious day that gives us all a bonus day every four years. Yeah, but why do we do it? And what happens if you have the rarest birthday of all? February 29th marks Raynell Dawn's Sweet 16. I'm sweeter 16 this time because this time I've been kissed. So need me, feed me, I'll be 64. She's one of an estimated 5 million people known as leaplings or leapers who only have a birthday every four years. We're a pretty rare breed, one in 1,461. Leap Day is a curious calendar quirk that serves a big purpose. A year doesn't divide evenly into days, and we need to figure out something to do about that. Our calendar has 365 days because that's pretty much how long it takes the Earth to orbit the sun. But in reality, the number is actually around 365.242 days. And over time, that .242 adds up. If we didn't have a leap day, then the months would gradually rotate around until January was in spring and May was the middle of summer. But this important solution still poses problems. The computer systems aren't leapified, not all of them. When we go online and try to sign in, when we put our birth date in, a little window pops up and says, invalid date. Dawn says it's her mission to give the date the respect it deserves and remind people to leap on board with Leap Day. Leap Day is everyone's extra day. So use it wisely and do something fun with it. Sounds like a good idea to me. Now, the odds of being born on Leap Day are, as you heard, 1 in 1,461. But the odds of you hearing from a Leap Day baby tonight are 100%. A South Florida girl born 12 years ago today shares what it's been like celebrating her birthday every four years. That's coming up all new at 6 o'clock. Oh, she's dancing. Look at her. Go, go, yeah, go. Yeah, <laughs> well, she only gets to celebrate every four years. I hope she lives it up. Uh, what, what do you do in those other three years? You pick either the 28th of February or I March 1st? I think so, probably. But okay. learning so much terminology, leapified, leap babies, it's a, a whole new genre you of are birthdays. Right. And then the new Gen Z Bible on top of all that. <laughs> it's hard all right, to that's keep the up.